everyone, this is Sai Soldier here, continuing with our Let's Play Skyrim, the modded version. Again, we are playing as the Necromancer, using my Psychotics Necromancy mod. We actually have some of our skeletons out with us now, which we just used to some decent effect to help eliminate that bandit fortress that we just took care of in the last part. And we are now... I hope moving in the direction of uh, whatever this place is that we're going to meet the Greybeards. Actually, let's check our map again. Yes, I do believe we are going in the correct direction at least. And along the way we are harvesting as much alchemy ingredients as we can get our hands on. And I just wasted a bolt. On the other hand, we have a nice saber cat built. The downside to being a necromancer is that I am extremely weak. And a lot of enemies can kill me with about one hit. The bright side is... I have a number of minions that can kill things even when I'm not looking. Okay. That I don't believe is a friendly creature. Running around trying to kill... It's a giant boar! Now you'll pay. Yes, kill that thing! Okay, it is dead. Excellent. We also got a bear cub. And we have some boar meat. I think I'm going to pass on the boar meat. For a while I was using the imp's uh, more complex needs mod. Which actually requires you to eat. Which actually makes sense. But I was afraid that it might impact my playability of the mod just a little too much. And might drag our video frame rate down. Hello! Holy crap! Oh crap! We're about to die. Let's drink a potion rather quickly before we burn to death. And okay, we have stopped burning. What is that thing? A Dagon. It's a dead Dagon! Dagon that very nearly killed us. Dragon tentacles. Interesting. Uh, let's keep it, why not? What is that? Is that a bear cub? No, it's a skeever. A dead skeever. Skeever with gold. Always amuses me when I find animals with gold. I don't know exactly what they were planning to buy with it, but... Okay. I'll take the gold. I suppose I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, if any hunters here have ever gone out and hunted uh, for deer or bear or boar or anything of that nature and found some gold I'd be quite interested to know about that don't really think that's going to be a comment that I see on here though uh, do we have some people down there fighting what is going on here that's a uh, Wolf, I guess. A 
Sabercat! Oh crap. Good work, minions. Uh, apparently that saber cat just killed this red guard woman. And um Halkir Warrior. Bad luck for them. What else is this? We have a another Alkyr Warrior. But I can't, I can't loot him. Okay then. And a spider as well. I guess I came in on the tail end of all that. Uh oh. Kill the saber cat! Uh oh dear. I think it's time to summon another skeleton. Oh dear. We are in trouble. Lydia's in trouble as well. There goes my other skeleton. Ah, oh dear. Run, Dark Horde! The water is sweeping you away. Oh, crap! This is one of those times when being able to cast my summon skeleton spell more quickly is useful. Although I wish I was a little faster. Yes, kill that thing. Protect your master. Where did it go? Why am I having such difficulty looting corpses? And we have another wolf. Oh, that's a saber cat. I think that's the one we already looted. Summon another skeleton. A wolf belt? There's another mod I'm definitely thinking about taking. It's uh, realistic animals or realistic wildlife. Something of that nature. It's supposed to affect the behavior of the wolves, the saber cats, and all of that. Because Quite honestly, it doesn't make sense that that a wolf and the saber cat were working together to hunt me. Um. Yeah. Apparently that uh, realistic wildlife mod is actually supposed to remedy that. And you're not going to see animals of different types working together when they would in real life not actually work together. What is this? An ash pile? Did a vampire die here? Apparently so.
Must be another uh, cave or something up there. Are we getting close to this place we need to be? Ooh. Bodies on spikes! Lost knife hideout. Is this something I can harvest? Snowberries! So that's all the snowberries I can harvest. Well, I'm certainly intrigued by these bodies that are impaled on spikes. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a look in here. Uh, this probably is actually going to be a good spot to go ahead and end this video. It seems like it might be a little short, but I still think it's going to be a good spot to end this. And in the next one, we'll actually go ahead and explore this little cave here. As always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Thank you very much.